Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Tuesday, April 13th, 2021. Free play in the NBA. Coming up on this report, first quick note, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run, click on that link below the video, get yourself set up for a free $60 account, which you can then use on any of my uh, daily packages or anybody else on the roster, for that matter, at DocSports.com. Again, it is a free $60 account. It all starts by clicking on the link below the video. All right, uh, hey, listen, we lost on Sunday. We told you about it on yesterday's video. We wanted to bounce back Monday, and we got just that. We swept our baseball and NBA, which were the only two sports we were in action in on Monday. Actually had an NHL play, but it was uh, postponed, that game in Minneapolis. So uh, nice sweep on Monday. Let's keep it going on Tuesday. Star of the show for me on Tuesday is the NBA. We had a nice virtual wire-to-wire -wire winner last night, blowout winner uh, with the Sixers over Dallas, and I've got a six-star play in the NBA. Tonight, uh, there's two 100% situations that back this side, and uh, we'll look to cash this one after winning by 18 on Monday. So a nice start to the week. And in baseball, I do have a 2-1-0 Tuesday card. Uh, we won another first five innings play last night. We had the Oakland A's, uh, and they completed that task with a 6-2 win through five innings. Uh, we've got a 2-1-0 card on Tuesday, and it includes another uh, first five innings side and our three and four unit side with these first five inning plays this year after last night's win are now 6-1-1 one, and one on the season. So don't miss out if you want to jump on board in baseball on Tuesday. And I also have soccer on Tuesday. Daytime Dominator. We are up over $4,200 on our current soccer run, which dates back to February 1st. So no NHL for me on Tuesday. Get a pass. We do have a couple of potential plays on Wednesday already earmarked. Uh, but again, baseball, soccer, and star of the show, the NBA six-star play on Tuesday night. All right, let's get to the free play. Also talking some NBA here and uh, punching up the lines right now. And we are looking at the battle between the Clippers and the Pacers. Uh, right now, the Clippers lay in two points, a couple of different casinos. And, and uh, that's what we're looking at here is to take Indiana and, uh, again, getting a bucket as I cut this video. Now, as far as defensive efficiency is concerned on the season, these teams are almost even. Indiana playing a little bit better defensive efficiency than a lot of people would give them credit for without digging in to the numbers. They've been playing better basketball of late. They've won three straight. They've won four of their last five. And one thing you'll notice is the team on the offensive end have started to come together a little bit more, a little bit more cohesiveness. And in three of their last five games, they've shot 55.3%, 59%, 52.5%. That 52.5% and 132 points came against a decent Memphis squad as far as their defensive play Memphis on the season a couple of nights ago, their last win. So we expect them to continue that play. I like the way guys are starting to shape together on this Indiana team. And meanwhile, although the Clippers have been playing great basketball of late, they've won, what, five in a row and uh, put a big string of wins together right before that, before uh, losing two in a row and then starting this win streak. The thing is, is as of late, two of the last three games, they have not been great on the defensive end, allowing 51% to one team, allowing 53% last time out to Detroit. They beat Detroit by seven, didn't cover the big number, however. Uh, and also, it's been announced that Kawhi Leonard is going to miss this game. They were already missing Ibaka. They were already missing uh, Beverly. And now it looks like Leonard, who missed Sunday, and it was first reported to be because of rest, is going to miss Tuesday's game because of a sore foot. Uh, we just think the way that uh, DeMonta Sabonis, Malcolm Brogdon have started to pull things together a little bit. Sabonis had 18 points, 15 boards, 9 assists last time out, that this team is going to do enough to get this win. Also like the way a couple of other bench players have been playing for Indiana of late, too. And again, we like him to uh, capture the victory here. So we're going to recommend to play on Indiana, the Pacers, plus the points, whatever you can get over the Clippers. And again, don't forget to star the show for me on my homepage on Tuesday is also in the NBA, six-star play. We look to start off the new week with back-to-back -back wins and sweep again, this time in baseball, NBA, and soccer. If you like the videos, click on the thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Tuesday in the win column.